boy, oh boy, oh boy. Seems like we got a bit of a situation on our hand. Internet archived, archive.org has been hacked. Their data has been exfiltrated and um, a bunch of users' passwords got leaked apparently. I don't know anything about like if the text actually got stolen or if they're like actually deleting files from Internet Archive's like database. But a lot of the news sources online were saying that a bunch of passwords have been exposed, um, yada yada. Uh, and there was this uh, message that appeared if you went to uh, archive.org. Uh, said something along the lines of here. I'll just put it on screen right now uh, but it said that and and HIBP stands for have I been pwned and if you don't know have I been pwned is a website where you enter in your email and then it checks to see if the password associated with that email is open to the public if you have been hacked in uh in a non-techie terms. Have you been hacked? If you enter in your email, it says, yes, you have been hacked in these database, le database leaks. And uh, that's actually how I found out that my personal email account has been pwned five times. I got pwned in like a dub smash leak, uh, Town of Salem got hacked, and now Internet Archive, because I had an account on Internet Archive. I didn't post anything there. I was originally planning to upload all my YouTube videos there, because they have, like, um, like YouTube is kind of like the big, big brother of online uh, media, so they kind of run... They, I mean, let's be real. YouTube owns online digital media right now. Like, every, every, it's just there. But they can't get too cocky about it because if you get cocky at when you have a monopoly, that's how monopolies fall. And all the monopolies get cocky. And they all fall. But anyways, that's a topic for another time because what we're still talking about is the Internet Archive leak. And so, what does this mean? Well, not much. It's just another... It's just another database leak that got hacked. If they took down archive.org entirely, then that'd be another story because Internet Archive is a, it's an invaluable tool to the modern age. I mean, how many people have pirated movies off of Internet Archive, has gotten like textbooks for the class off of Internet Archive, or just found like some interesting shit off of there? It truly is the free digital library, and that's a very noble goal. But like I said, the hackers didn't take down Internet Archive. They just stole a bunch of passwords from it, which, you know, kind of sucks, but could be worse. Um, but the Internet Archive people, the people who run the Wayback Machine, they said, yeah, yeah, we're upgrading our security. We're hashing our passwords. One source that I saw online said that the hackers only managed to steal encrypted passwords, which good luck cracking that. But they still urge people to change their passwords. And so now let's get on to the other part of the video. Who was behind this? So who was behind the Internet Archive hack? Well, there was a person on X, according to like a few YouTube, according to a few news sources, who goes by the name SN underscore Black Meta. And... I, I just gotta say they posted a they posted a video to their Instagram channel, um, and you know what we'll get about that we'll get back to that later. Who is this person who claimed the attack? Well, apparently they claim to be a pro Palestine hacktivist group, which is another term for saying cyber criminals, which is another term for saying cyber terrorists, which means they're criminals. This is a criminal group. I don't care if you're pro-Israel or pro-Palestine. You can't do that, bro. And so, anyways, that goes in. Those go into my, that sort of like, anyways, we're getting off topic. We're talking about SN Black Meta. But the only thing I know about them is that, one, they're pro-Palestine. Two, they hacked Internet Archive. Three, they are a hacker. And four, they are cringe. And I'll tell you why they're cringe. Because remember when I said they posted a video to their X account page? Well, let me show you this video really quick. 
If injustice is now law, then let rebellion become a duty. Starting on May 28th, we launched an international attack on the world's largest archive, which lasted for many hours. The attack was carried out twice, and we claimed full responsibility for it. The press published the news globally, and the interactions on the Twitter pages exceeded 7 million, with more than 150 comments. Questioning the reason for the attack, most people call us hackers, thinking we are teenagers hiding behind computer screens. And we pretty much are. So yeah, they are fucking cringe. Um, I don't care who you are if you're like built like a seven foot like strong man, or if you're like Andrew Tate, if you hack things online. And just expose shit just for the... I mean, like, let's let's go back. What even was the point of this? What even was the point of this? I mean, they didn't really get anything out of it. I'm, I mean, unless you're selling database leaks on the, like, dark net. Or, like, something like Breach Forums, etc., etc. I should mention I've never been on Breach Forums. I just hear about it from Mental Outlaw. Um, but... I mean, what what, we, what was even the point of this? You got a database full of encrypted passwords and usernames now. What now? You know, what, what are you going to do with that? It's not really something you can buy or sell. It's just kind of like for clout. I mean, that was the whole thing behind LulzSec is they just hacked for fun. And that seems like the only real thing like these sort of attacks get out of. It's just like for fun. Well, in this case, it seems like a bit of hacktivism, but like, I don't know. I, I really don't think it's that effective. I mean, it turned a few heads, so I congrats, I guess. It's, you know, congratulations, you turned a few heads. Uh, turned a lot of heads, actually, because Internet Archive's uh, fairly popular. But, like I said, um, just Internet Archive... Sucks that they got hacked, but, you know, it is what it is, and, you know, these things happen. So, update your security stuff. Don't use the same password more than on one website, and use a password manager. That way you only have to remember one password instead of 50 billion. And that's it for today. See ya.